Herzlich willkommen zu Unlimited Wrestling. Wir sind heute hier alle, um Bad Bones John Klinger zu ehren. Und das Ganze machen wir, wie es im Wrestling üblich ist, mit dem Tim Bell Salute. Also bitte steht alle auf und nutzt die Zeit und ehrt und gedenkt einen der größten Wrestler unserer Zeit. John war Ehemann, John war Vater, John war Kollege, John war Sportler, er war Wrestler, er war Champion, John war für einige von uns Gegner, und für andere Tag-Team-Partner. Aber vor allem war John für uns ein Freund. Und John hätte nicht gewollt, dass wir heute hier traurig sind. John hätte gewollt, dass wir hier heute die Hütte abreißen. Und deswegen möchte ich, dass ihr heute alle laut seid. Seid so laut, so laut wie ihr könnt. Lasst uns gemeinsam dafür sorgen, dass John, egal wo der oben ist, egal wo, dass er uns hört, dass er uns sieht und dass er lächelt und dass er stolz darauf ist, was er hier mit uns gemeinsam geschaffen hat. Und deswegen danke an dich, Bad Bones. Und nobody can stop The Badness. Wisst ihr, seit fast 20 Jahren stehe ich im Ring und ich bin verdammt stolz, heute mit dir noch einmal zusammen im Ring gestanden zu haben. Den Eltern. Das war einfach mein letztes Match. Ich möchte gerne, vielleicht wenn es funktioniert, noch mal zu Dark Chapter kommen und mich in Tale vor dem großen Publikum, in der, vor der großen Bühne verabschieden. Aber dann war es das. Von daher, danke für alles. He's got it in deep. There is nowhere to go. Yes! We've got a new champion! We've got a new champion! Das ist Bad Bones John Klinger, der gefährlichste Mann im europäischen Wrestling seit Jahren. Manchmal schlagen sich Brüder. Kann ich mich jederzeit auf dich verlassen? Einmal Blues, Bruder. Immer Blues, Bruder, Baby. Es kommt meine Damen und Herren, die nachfolgende Sendung verschiebt sich um mehrere Stunden. Wir sind großartiger Athlet. Joe Henry hat zu Recht den Erfolg, den er hat. Und ich habe vergessen, was ich sagen wollte. Das ist geil, das ist geil. 
In wenigen Minuten ist es soweit. Herzlich willkommen bei Unlimited Wrestling Ocean Bash 2024 und das erste Match ist ein Tag Team Match angelegt auf einen Vor und es geht um die Unlimited Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Hier sind die Champions. Ladies and Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us live here at Unlimited Wrestling for Ocean Bash. Thank you very much for checking out this live stream as we start out with the champs, the Unlimited Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the Draufgänger. My name is Rico Bushido, the voice of champions. And I'm sorry that I'm not my enthusiastic self because we lost a member of our family today, a very beloved member of our family. A man that we knew as a brother, I have known him for more than 20 years, worked, worked with him, bled with him, shed tears with him. Of course, I am talking about the most dangerous man in European wrestling, the great, the legendary, bad bones, John Klinger, who unfortunately passed away earlier this week. This is not just about unlimited wrestling tonight. This is not just about professional wrestling tonight. Tonight, we have all assembled here in this venue and in different venues all over Germany to remember a great friend, a great colleague, a great father, a great husband. John, this is for you. This night is for you. And now over the ringside, where the Draufgängers are getting ready to defend their titles. And what a tag team this was, ladies and gentlemen. This is, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of years ago, I have coined them the future of European wrestling. And here they stand with the gold over their shoulders. But the question is, will they hang on to that gold tonight? Meine Damen und Herren, hier kommen die Herausforderer. As the Kraken rises from the depths of the sea, a ship approaches through the mist, and we all know what time it is. It's time for this ominous duo we know as Wolves of the Sea, Ascaline. The captain, Marcus Monaire, a savage duo that will stop at nothing to obtain that goal. And they've been having their sights set on that goal for years now. And this is their opportunity right here, live in Bremerhaven. And what an opportunity it is. People have been waiting for a long time to see these teams go head to head. Marcus Munir, of course, Askeladd Gormson, they have been together for a long time. They have tried various other tag team combinations, but they always end up back together because we are talking about kindred spirits. Ladies and gentlemen, birds of a feather flock together. These are the savages of unlimited wrestling.
Bremerhaven, ich möchte euch die beiden Teams einmal genauer vorstellen. Zu meiner Linken, direkt aus Schlicktown und mit einem Kampfgewicht von 172 Kilo, stehen vor Ihnen und euch im Ring die amtierenden Unlimited Wrestling Tag Team Champions Cody Kidman und Joey Light. Die Draufgänger! No for putting it all on the line each and every time we see them! Draufgänger! Spots. It says enough. Die Herausforderer bringen es auf ein Kampfgewicht von 193 Kilogramm einzeln. Kennt man sie als Markus Moner und Askelat Gormson, aber gemeinsam fürchtet man sie als The Wolves of the Sea. These are big, rugged individuals, both of them. And as a team, they are twice as dangerous. Tension is in the air here as we're kicking off things with the titles held high above the head of our referee, Kev the Ref. That's what it's all about. And you can see by the expression on Kevin's face that the tension is here and there's a lot on the line of course what a hot start there by the Wolves the Wolves now jump in the Draufgänger Joey Light is already outside of the ring he's been tossed outside by Marcus Munir now Marcus Munir running in Joey Light was right there putting on the brakes protecting his tag team partner And these boys are reckless as they come. Wow! And we we haven't even we have, we barely started, and we're already seeing an example of how reckless they can be. Sometimes to their detriment, but more often they gain success with their very unorthodox styles. And now. Joey Light, oh my God, like he was run over by a train there. That will take the air out of you. And it did. Joey Light now, under, over, on the shoulders, fireman's position now, Marcus Munir. Joey Light wiggling out, oh, straight to the kisser. And now Joey Light looking for an angle. Softening things up with a spot, it's chopping out from the top rope, Lucha Andrak, beautiful, Cody Kidman's been tagged in, and now the powerhouse of the team, a top of drop, double forearm, Marcus Monier, all spaghetti legs, front, bump, and now, lifting up, Joey Light, beautiful senton. And the crowd is unified. And now, Joey Light up. Oh, he went for that. Oh my God. He went for that whisper in the wind, but he got caught by the bigger Marcus Monier. Is he tagging out or is he just staying there to extract his revenge? Now, hostile territory for Joey Light. Joey Light needs to get out of there. Joey Light needs to get out of there. Oh! And now, Askeladd, Gorbson. Already going for the count. Too much ring awareness still with Joey Light. Joey Light needs to do everything it takes to get out of that hostile corner over there because when they keep him in there and they team up on him, it's just too much humanity for him. These guys are just too big, too heavy, and he's just being out, he's just being outmatched. Now double whip in by the Wolves. 
The Wolves now. Oh, double hip toss. Cover now by Marcus Munir. One, two. Two is all he gets. And Joey Light might be small when it comes to stature, but he is very wiry. He is very explosive, and he is a lot stronger than people give him credit for, but now to the back of the head with a club. That's bad. You should never get, oh, kicked out. You should never try to get hit in the back of the head because that's where all the nerve endings come together. It's a central point. Marcus Monier. Oh! I was referring to the back of the head! Oh my God! Almost got the three count there. Trying to put away Joey Light. Just smashing his caranium on his knee. Tag. Another tag is made to Garmson. Ascalat now. Oh, these guys are ready. Oh, clothesline. Forearm. Oh. Poetry in motion. Coast to coast. Is that it? No, 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 no. Arrogant cover there by Ascalat. Should isolate those shoulders on a pinfall. Ascalat should know this. This is a very experienced wrestler. And now, often, more often than not, the anger takes over when Ascalat is in there. This guy just loves to rage. This guy is just the ultimate Viking. We're going to have some more Vikings in here. We've got ladies action as well. More about that later. But right now, Joey Light is fighting for his life in there. Almost reaching his tag team partner. No, being dropped unceremoniously in the other corner. But Joey Light is still fighting. And now trying to go, trying to die for his partner again. Sunset flip, no, 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 Marcus Monier will not give him an inch of space. He will not give him an inch because an inch is all Joey Light needs to get out of this predicament. You see a little crimson red dripping from the nose of the captain, of the pirate captain. And now, tagging in a, another man who is very fond of blood. And the crowd now, unified in their support. For Joey Light, who now steps over, taking it to both men. Look, like, this is the mistake. As soon as he's getting his space, he should run for the hills and try to make his the tag to his partner. You cannot fight these men, especially not both of them. And now from the crucifix, with a spike assisted. Joey Light was too quick on that one. Pele kick. And now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time for him to tag it. Joey Kidman, and here we go. Joey Kidman, the muscle of the team, taking it to both men now. Clotheslining. A house of fire. Wow, he just backdropped him using his brute strength. And now, sky high. One, two, is that it? No! Oh! Marcus Munir just kicked out. A split second later, and we would be yelling and still. But there is time. They've got the upper head right now. And now, tag team action. No, Marcus Munir moving out of the way. Tossing Cody into his tag team partner. Joey Light is the legal man now. Going for the ride from the top rope. And here comes the big Viking. Another crucifix. And here comes the bomb with a neck breaker. That's it. That's all she wrote. Good night, nurse. A double tap, a double pinfall. But oh, a moonsault out of nowhere. I am watching this match. I didn't even know where he came from. Big 
up to Cody Kidman for making the save in the nick of time. Oh, and a spear! A spe he speared him right to Valhalla. And now Joey Light. Oh, very light on his feet. Oh my God, Code Red! Was that a Canadian destroyer? Oh, but now, Marcus Munir. Joey Light going for the right. Oh! Suplexing him, reverse, inside out. And now Cody Kitman coming from the second row with a Cody Cutter! Cody Cutter! Cody Cutter! That could make the difference in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just joined us live, we are right in the middle of the match for the tag team titles between the Wolves of the Sea and the Draufgänger. This is Unlimited Wrestling. We are at Bremerhaven. And you are joining us for Ocean Bash. And this is just the first match. And this crowd is on fire already. And now, coming from the... Oh! Cody Kidman, right there, once again to save the day. Now, coming from the top, superplex position. Oh! Nice execution from the heavens comes Joey Light. One. Two and three and still! Die Gewinner und damit auch weiterhin die amtierenden Unlimited Wrestling Tag Team Champions Cody Kidman und Joey Light! What a match, what a title defense. And of course, they're dedicating this match to their good friend and mentor, John Klinger. He would be proud right now. And I know that he is up there smiling. Look at the success these kids are having. Bist du hyped? Scramble Challenge. Du und ich, wir beide zeigen, was Katharsis wieder drauf hat. Wir holen den Titel. Ich hole den Titel. Aber du hilfst mir. Du hilfst mir, okay? Und dann ist Katharsis wieder on top. Okay? Guck mal, wer da ist. Mein kleiner Bruder. Hey, yo. Schön, dich zu sehen. Aber Kindertraining ist Donnerstags. Und jetzt geh und spiel mit den Kleinen. Das folgende Match ist ein Singles-Match und es ist angelegt auf einen vor. Und der erste Kämpfer ist nun auf dem Weg zum Ring. Here we go. Every time I hear this sound, I get goosebumps because I know there's a group walking in with a leader that has very, very bad intentions. And we see Jokai, we see Mad Levon, those deranged henchmen, or, or cult members, if you will. Jokai sporting the kabuki makeup. Mad Levon with that mask that he, he cherishes, he worships. That uneasy feeling. Er repräsentiert Grupa Ismena und bringt es auf ein Kampfgewicht von 100 Kilogramm. Er ist der Dämon. Er ist Jokai. Look. And Madlib on skipping around as Jokai looks around him ominously. 
Look at these two. Crochester has put together a Macar masterpiece with these two guys. That Oni demon that calls himself Jokai. Sitting there, looking around, deranged. Und hier kommt sein Gegner. And here we go, Lunatic, we saw him make it as the debut a while ago. Lunatic, of course, a graduate from the Unlimited Wrestling School. Pass it with flying colors. Direkt and man, aus der this is a proving ground. With a Kampfgewicht of 80 kg. Bremerhaven, Lunatic! It's good to see these fresh faces in there, of course. Lunatic, as I said, made his debut a while back. It's a fresh face here. Very fiery, very enthusiastic. Let's see how long that enthusiasm lasts. Look at the size of Jokai. He's just standing there, statuesque, if you will. Jokai slowly but surely making his way over to the other side of the ring. There is definitely a size discrepancy. What? Look at Jokai. Look at Jokai. He's not even attempting to wrestle his opponent. Is he even taking Lunatic serious? Lunatic with the headlock seems to have very little or no effect on his on his creepy, might I say, opponent. And now going to the bread basket, and now Jokai must feel it, but now lifting him up, just tossing him away as if he was a rag doll. Lunatic now. Oh, this kid knows how to move. Very nimble. Bouncing off the ropes. Head scissor to Jokai. Jokai is up. Jokai is up straight away. And now, Lunatic has got that grip on. Jokai just yanked him back and now going for the eyes. Is he going for the mask or is he going for the eyes? And now inside out. Lunatic heavily relying on Lucha Libre tactics in order to confuse his much larger opponent. And Lunatic now with a springboard. Oh, and he jumped right into the claws of Jokai, who is wrenching at that mask, who is clawing at the eyes. And now to the corner, all the way to the post. And now, you've got to wonder who's the real Lunatic here because Jokai, crazy as he might seem, is there a method to his madness? And where's Matt Levant? Got to keep an eye on Matt Levant at all times. Ever since Grupa Ismena doubled in numbers, the referees here at Unlimited Wrestling need eyes in the backs of their heads. Oh, that's dirty. And you can automatically tell that Jokai is not even to looking to end this in a quick fashion. 
Jokai wants to see his opponents suffer. Now the elbow will be placed. Oh, to the bridge of the nose. To the bridge of the nose. And probably Lunatic suffered a broken nose because of it. And now joint manipulation. <laughs> that poor kid is being dismantled. I ripped to the corner. Oh my God, the momentum. The momentum just took the breath out of the body of Lunatic. And Lunatic, as I mentioned before, is a very enthusiastic individual. You've got to wonder of his mind state right now. Oh, to the heart. Another one to the heart of Lunatic. Oh, to the neck area, to the throat. Jokai dropping bombs on his opponent. Kicking him in the face. Looking in the crowd ever so stoically. But do not be fooled. We've seen this guy erupt like a volcano, this Jokai. Smashing him into the turnbuckle. Jokai taking out prisoners. Lunatic now. Trying to use the head scissor to get out of that predicament, but now Jokai using his power. His power for speed all the way through in this match. And now going for the backslide. Oh, what an original pinning combination. He got very close, as close as he will come probably in this match, to pinning his opponent. Very crafty. Well, this is a very promising young star that we need to keep our eyes on for the future. But right now, he is still in the greatest of perils. Oh, and Jokai roughing up his opponent. You gotta wonder where Crochester is at right now. From which point of the building is he watching this as he prepares for his matchup later on tonight? has already got some supporters that want to see him regain his momentum, come back into this matchup. But the, the demon just will not let him. Tying him up now, crutching him. This is not a good position to be in. This is not. Oh, you always have to protect the crown jewels or be able to protect the crown jewels when you're in there, but this is not the position to do it in. Referee now needs to check on Lunatic who is stuck in that corner. Referee giving Jokai a lot of leeway here, a lot of leeway. Now draping his opponent. Oh, lunatic. Lunatic seizing the, the opportunity. Now using himself as a human cannibal. Lunatic takes a lot of, a lot of risks, but these are risks he needs to take at this stage of this match if he wants to mount an effective comeback while well, he's well on his way but oh my god it seems that the demon is almost impervious to pain 
you see him. You see him feeling the effects of the blows, but he immediately recovers like Wolverine almost. And now with a Mizzle drop kick. What a springboard. Lunatic. A lunatic now, scaling the top. And this is the position in, the, in which he is most comfortable. Coming down from the heavens, no! Joe Kai literally cut him off midair. Now, Joe Kai has got him in position. Oh my God, Scorpion death drop. One, two, three, that's it. The winner of these matches, Yo Kai. Oh my God! This guy is unhinged, ladies and gentlemen. Yo Kai has won another matchup for Grupa Ismena, and I think it's very safe to establish at this point that this guy is going to be a problem. This guy could be a huge threat for the entire roster. Helping Lunatic up? Is he actually showing remorse? This is very unlike Chokai, but it seems he... Wow. Well, I didn't see that coming. Whoa! But then we see that coming! Oh my god! Get this guy out of here! For the safety of the crowd. Sie waren Alter, sind still. Weil es mir macht der Spaß hier zu sitzen, aber ich habe keinen Bock, dass sowas wie Dark Chapter nochmal passiert. Weißt du eigentlich, wie schwer das ist, bei der Front hier hinzukriegen? Das hat andere sechs Monate gekostet und wir sind nach zwei Wochen hier. Also reiß dich zusammen und sei höflich. Wenigstens dieses eine Mal, ich bitte dich. Herr äh, Kier, habe ich das richtig ausgesprochen? Ja. Kiew, Sie sind heute das erste Mal bei mir auf Anraten von Ihrem Kollegen Partner? Ja, Frau Doktor. Habe ich das richtig ausgesprochen? Ich möchte Sie bitten, mir zu sagen, was Sie hierauf sehen. Schaufel. Mhm. Und hier? Schaufel. Mhm. Ja. Schaufel. Mhm. Und auf diesen? Schaufel. Mhm. 
grüne Schaufel. Herr Kiew, ich spüre etwas Unruhiges, etwas Rastloses, etwas ja, Chaotisches in ihm. Sagen Sie mal, wie würden Sie Ihre Beziehung beschreiben? Worauf basiert sie? Respekt, Vertrauen? Das nun folgende Match ist ein Singles-Match und es ist angelegt auf einen Vor. Und der erste Kämpfer macht sich genau jetzt auf den Weg zum Ring. Match number 200 for Unlimited Wrestling and I have been privileged to almost call all of them as your English commentator. And this match is going to be a special one because we have two very like-minded individuals clashing in the middle of the Unlimited Wrestling ring. And there he is. Bobby Guns, we're in Bremerhaven, but Bobby Guns is from Bremer, about 30 minutes drive from here. And this guy is a multi-time veteran in different organizations, multi-time champion. He's a wrestling veteran. He's got something to say. Bremerhaven, you have heard. I'm Bobby Guns. Ich bin die Nummer 1 aus dem Norden, die Nummer 1 und vor allem die Nummer 1 aus Bremen. Wisst ihr, was das bedeutet? Ich zahle für euch in Bremerhaven mit. Ihr solltet euch bei mir also ein bisschen erkenntlich zeigen. He is not popular in this place, ladies and gentlemen. There's been a year long rivalry between Bremerhaven and Bremer. And people are now calling for Babos John Klinger, who of course called Bremen his hometown. Wisst ihr, wisst ihr, was mich happy macht, obwohl ich hier in Bremerhaven bin? Dass mein Gegner für heute, der Klut. Yeah, der, that's the man he's going Junge to be facing. Hat seine Chance auf das große Gold für immer verspielt. Und das bedeutet, er wird nie, 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 nie wieder die Nummer eins sein. Reminding the crowd that Klut can never challenge for that title again. Of course, the stipulation that was laid out when he lost to the Catharsis members last year, he will be never be able to be in a position where he can become the champion of a limited wrestling. Bobby Guns, of course, reminding us. And there he is! Sein Gegner kommt direkt aus dem Wenninger Kiez und bringt es auf ein aktuelles Kampfgewicht von 49 Flaschen Whisky. Er ist die Berliner Schnauze. Bremerhaven, bitte heißt ihn willkommen. Da ist Nikolaus. The man who used to call himself the number one. There was a little doubt in his voice the last time we saw him. But I do not see a lot of doubt in his eyes right now. And here we go. And we have been waiting for this to see these two men go at it. As I said before the match, two very like-minded individuals. We've got a street kid from Bremer against a street kid from Berlin. 
Both men similar size. Both men similar attitudes. This match is about who can call himself number one. Who can call himself one of the very best in Germany right now. And Klute is on fire. Klute is in shape. Watch out, there's Bobby Guns. And now, watch out for the technical pro is of Bobby Guns. If Bobby Guns will catch a limb of Nicholas Klute, Nicholas Klute is going to work. I can't say anything else. But if Bobby Guns catches one of his limbs, he will grab it, he will twist it, he will hook it, and he will tear it from his body. That's how good of a technical wrestler Bobby Guns is. Not showing us that in this stage of the match. He'd rather smash his opponent from pillar to post to assert his dominance in this stage. But wait until the, the dust settles a little bit. Wait until we get in deeper waters. Then you will see the technical abilities of Bobby Guns. Bobby Guns. Look at that arrogant expression on his face. The pure arrogance on display by Bobby Guns. Oh, Clute is hurt. Clute just got kicked right in the face. He might be out on his, on his feet, but... And there's Bobby Guns. Bobby Guns now with the Irish whip to the corner. Following up, European uppercut. Another European uppercut. And I've got a feeling we're going to see plenty of those tonight, especially in the main event. More about that later. Oh, Bobby Guns now with a kick, another kick, another kick. He's got Clute cornered now. He's got Clute cornered. There's no way for Clute to go. Clute needs to get out of the corner. And now Clute putting the brakes on. Switching stands now, switching positions. Clute now firing up with those chops. Bobby ducked under one of them. Now, snap mare. Clute is in the middle of the ring. Bobby Guns now. Oh, kick in his spine. Clute now. Kicking out. Bobby Guns, perhaps the taller of the two. I think they are similar in weight. Clute with that sturdy build. Oh, and the king. The king just suffer from the effects of the spinal tap. And the crowd now behind Clute as Clute is trying to make his way back into this match. But now you can see the experience. Now you can see the abilities. And almost a three count. Look at Bobby Guns. Bobby Guns like a heat seeking missile. And now to the chest again. And you can see that Bobby is holding on to that risk wrist. He will not, not, never let his opponents stray far. He always stays in the pocket, stays close to his opponents so he can put on the submissions. And here we go. And again, and now, Clute lifting him up, side suplex, very nicely placed on the back of the head of Bobby Guns. And Bobby Guns must be seeing stars right now. 
Nicholas Kluth, the Berliner Schnauzer, he should use this opportunity. Regain your composure, regain your strength a little bit. Take a little breather. But no, there he is. Once again, Bobby Guns like a pit bull. Like a pit bull. He is insistent on not giving his opponent a break. A nice twisting double axe handle there. display by King Kluth. Here we go. Show them who's number one, King. Knee drop. We know that one. And oh! Almost sent Bobby Guns home. Almost sent Bobby Guns packing. And Clute is feeling it. He is feeling it now. And now, scooping up his opponent. Poop scoops a pound driver, perhaps on his mind, but no. Another rear naked choke. Oh, and Clute again escaping from that. And, and that's for the better because Bobby Guns is hell-bent on putting Mark, uh, Nicholas Clute to sleep right in the center of the ring, right on that unlimited wrestling logo. And ladies and gentlemen, as these two men are teeing up right before our very eyes, let's take a minute to appreciate all the great fans that come out, came out tonight. Everybody who is here to celebrate the life of the great John Klinger. Everybody in the crowd and all the talent in the back and in the ring right now and tonight. This is a very special night, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very special night, and I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this broadcast right now. His chin is being hammered. Oh my God, these men are literally beating the crap out of one another. And the crowd showing their appreciation. And the crowd now firmly behind Nicholas Clute, who is contemplating to ascend the top rope here. And now, Bobby Guns was right there at the exact right time. Clute now putting on the brakes. Will he be able to hold on to that top rope? Both men now fighting for position. They're teeing off on the second rope, trying to set the top in order to drop the other man off. This is a fight for supremacy to the bitter end, and now Clute with the headbutt, sending Bobby Guns tumbling backwards. And now Clute, Clute needs to capitalize on this very moment. 
And here he comes, putting himself in position. And now Clute from the heavens burns up on that top. Here he comes, miss out drop kick by the king. And kick out by Bobby Guns. And Clute now seemingly frustrated. Clute might have called himself number one for all these years, but there is only one Bobby Guns, and Clute best remember that. This guy has been through wars. He's been there with some of the greatest wrestler this planet has to offer. And now, Bobby Guns trying to take the head of Clute off with that hell of a kick. Fireman's position. Here we go. Oh, Death Valley driver. And now out of that corner. Soccer kick. One, two, and that's it. Oh! Somehow, some way, Clute managed to kick out of that. Kloot showing the crowd why he is who he is, why he's been chosen by the Unlimited Wrestling crowd as their favorite. I do not care what happened to 2023 for Kloot. This guy, his career has never been a mistake. It's always been because of hard work, all the successes he achieved. And now Clute turning things around. Oh, that would have been something. And Clute now with the knee. Clute now on the attack. Clute proving Bobby Guns that he can fight him any step of the way. And I was expecting this to be more of a technical match. This has turned into a street fight. Oh my God. And now, one, two, and throw. Bobby Guns, Bobby Guns, suddenly realizing where he is. He's looking down, he sees that logo, he's looking around, he's starting to realize that this is Clute's house. What does he need to do to put King fucking Clute away? And now Bobby Guns running in. Oh, what a close line. Took him down. Almost took his head off. Bobby Guts knows exactly what to do. And here we go. Oh, Clute stepping over now. Push it off. And returning the favor with a close on himself. And now, yank it up. Bobby Guts by the ears. Get him in position for that put tombstone power driver. Will he hit it? Yes, he spiked it right through the mat. Oh my God. And three and that's it. Der Gewinner dieses Matches kommt direkt aus dem Wellinger Tiefs. Bremerhaven, lasst das hören für Nikolaus Klug. What a fight. A fight to the bitter end. Take nothing away from Bobby Guns because he gave it his all. But the night belongs to Nicholas Clute, the man who refound his luck, the man who returned to his old ways, his winning streak here in 2024. Let's forget about 23. Let's erase that year from, from history. This is it for Clute. And who cares if he is never able to challenge for the, for the Unlimited Wrestling Heavyweight Championship again? Who cares? This is the people's champion. This is the man that has been chosen by Unlimited Wrestling fans here in Germany, here in Bremerhaven, and all over the world.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this in English, thank you very much for joining us. I really appreciate it. Nicholas Klut used to always do the talking right before every match decides that he wants to do the talking after he did his handiwork in the ring. This man has really changed. He really has. And I would like to say, and I think everybody agrees with me, he has changed for the better. Nicholas Clue, the floor is yours. But he used to be. He definitely used to be. Is he still number one? He didn't call himself number one last time. Let's see what King Clute has to say. I have nothing against when you have a longer jubel ball. I will not be younger. Aber ganz kurz, Unlimited Wrestling, Bremerhaven, wie fandet ihr das jetzt eigentlich? They are loving it, they are loving it, Klutz. Ich hab gesagt, wie fandet ihr das, was? What a crowd. Ich scheint euch richtig zu freuen, aber ich glaube, Bobby ist nicht ganz so glücklich darüber. zu zeigen, was ich drauf habe. Nicht so wie du, Bobby, ganz klein mit Hut. Mal von Bobby muss ich kurz was sagen. Ich weiß, bald steht der Rumble an. Der New Don Rumble und der Gewinner darf um die Unlimited Championship antreten. Unfortunately, he will never be able to challenge for that championship again, as we said earlier on. I weiß es sehr zu schätzen, aber ein Klut in Berliner steht zu sehen wurde. Und ich habe gesagt, ich werde nicht mehr mit dem Titel antreten, wenn ich verliere. Und da ich im Gegensatz zu Bobby wirklich ein Ehrenmann bin, halte ich mein Wort, halte ich mein Versprechen. Und nimm nicht am Rumble teil. Ich bin trotzdem hier, aber ich hab's dir gesagt und ich halte mein Wort, denn Klut lügt nie. Danke Bremerhaven, danke Limited. Wir haben trotzdem eine geile Zeit. Bis zum nächsten Mal. We love you, Klut. Well, it was awesome to see him win once again. Warte mal, warte mal, warte mal. Wait a minute, there's something going on here. Um, uh, it's Victor. Hallo. Um, ich, ich habe hier gerade einen Anruf bekommen. Um, ich habe einen Anruf bekommen von unserem General Manager Fabius Titus. You just got a phone call from the General Manager. Fabs verfolgt die Show natürlich im Livestream und Klut Fabs Fabs sagt What what does Fabs have to say? What does he have Fabs to say? sagt, du hast völlig recht. Du hast dich verzockt, du hast deine Chance auf das große Gold verspielt. That's true. Und deswegen hat Fabs jetzt ein Problem, denn Fabs hat euch versprochen, dass er euch das beste Unlimited Wrestling aller Zeiten liefern wird und Fabs glaubt Ihr wollt sehen, dass Klut um das große Gold kämpft. Oh, is he getting another opportunity to be able to challenge? Thanks to Fabs, who is watching this through live stream. Und Fabs sagt, was du eben versprochen hast, das stimmt. Du wirst am New Dawn Rumble am 6.7. in Thale 
nicht teilnehmen. No, he won't participate in the Rumble Aber because Flut the winner of that will get a shot at the title and he Fox cannot challenge. Auch, du bekommst ein anderes Match bei New Dawn. Oh, he's getting another New match? Dawn. In dieser Sekunde offiziell bestätigt von Fabius Titus steht Nicolas Klut in einem Gauntlet Match. Gauntlet Drei Match for Klut? Drei unbekannte Wrestler hintereinander. Kannst du, kannst du alle diese drei Wrestler besiegen? Dann bist du wieder im Rennen um den großen Titel. Du kriegst die Chance so auf Klut den Titel. So Klut wird in a Gauntlet Match, where he has to defeat three of his opponents, all three of his opponents, in order to be able to challenge again Sollte for the title. So there is a possibility. Sollte einer deiner bei New Dawn es schaffen, dich zu besiegen, dich zu pinnen oder zur Aufgabe zu bringen, dann bekommen die die nächste Titelchance. Und Klut, es geht nicht um irgendeine Titelchance. Bei deinem Gauntlet Match in New Dawn. So if one of his opponents pins him, that, that person will get um the opportunity Unlimited to challenge. Wrestling Championship Match in Berlin. So if Klut defeats all of his three opponents Mit schönen in the Gauntlet, von Fabs. the next show, he will be able to challenge for the title, for the Unlimited Wrestling title in Berlin. He cannot believe his ears, he's shocked. He had given up hope, but there is always hope. There is always a light at the tunnel. Das nun folgende Match ist die allererste Unlimited Wrestling Scramble Challenge. Und es geht um nichts Geringeres als um die vakante Unlimited Challenge Championship. Moment mal, Bremer Hafen. Es geht um nichts anderes als um die vakante Unlimited Challenge Championship. Genau so. Ja, voilà. So, ich erkläre euch nochmal die Regeln. Das folgende Match läuft genau 20 Minuten und zwar egal, was passiert. Zwei Wrestler werden das Match beginnen und alle drei Minuten kommt ein neuer Wrestler hinzu, bis alle Teilnehmer im Ring sind. Ganz wichtig, zuhören, ganz wichtig. Ne? Dieses Match ist nicht angelegt auf einen Vor. Es ist ja eben nicht angelegt auf einen Vor. Müsst ihr schon zuhören, ne? In diesem Match können beliebig viele Pinfalls oder Aufgaben stattfinden. Wrestler, die gepinnt werden oder aufgeben, sind weiterhin mit im Match. Und Sieger ist, wer den letzten Pinfall oder die letzte Aufgabe vor Ablauf der 20 Minuten für sich verbuchen kann. Hier kommt der erste Teilnehmer. Here we go. This is for all the marbles because... Well, I, I wanted to say all the marbles, but there are a lot of moving parts. Let's stick to that. This is the scramble match. The challenge championship that has been relinquished by Mila Schmidt is on the line. And this man stepping into the arena to do some damage. That vegan sniper, Herbie Farah. I actually got the opportunity to talk to Herbie Farah this afternoon. We were talking about the style, how much I appreciate it. And I was talking about his drive, what drives you? What's motive, what motivates you? Aus Haldens Leben mit einem Kampfgewicht von 75 Kilogramm ist er bekannt als Submission Ultra. Ladies and gentlemen, so I asked her before, what's your drive, what's your motivation? He said, it's simple, Rico. I just want to make my opponents squeal. No matter the size of my opponents, I do not care if they outweigh me nine out of ten times. I want to make them squeal. And tonight, I'm going to make a whole bunch of them squeal and take home that title. What a growth this guy has gone through. From the minute he stepped out, everybody doubted him. He was just a referee. Remember, the first man he wrestled here at Unlimited Wrestling was none other than Bad Bulls, 
John Klinger, and no doubt, like in every experience with Bad Bo John Klinger, he has learned and he came out a better yes, man. Auf dem Weg zum Ring. Time to hang ten, dude. Because serve Now this is the guy every time I go to a tropical beach and I'm basically stationary, chilling out. This guy is doing the hard work as he rides the biggest waves of the planet. You see him just cruise on by. Er kommt Surfer direkt boy. von den sonnigen Stränden dieser Welt auf das Surfbrett bringt er ein Kampfgewicht von 83 Kilogramm. Er ist der Surfer Boy, ladies and gentlemen. Dominik Fischer! Ah, uh, All right. There's no disqualification in this match. You just pin, submit every man that you come across until there is no one left. And that person, last man standing, can lay claim to being the new Unlimited Wrestling Challenge Championship. Of course, normally, we do not ever know who is stepping out there. Normally, the game is completely different. But since Mila Schmidt has relinquished that title because she wants to go for that Unlimited Wrestling Women's Championship. We have this scramble match right now. So it's 20 minutes. The wrestlers are going to keep on coming in. The person that gets the final fall, and it can be right now, but if there, if, for instance, if Herbie Farah makes Dominic Fisher tap out right now, and nobody that's going to come after them will be able to secure another victory. It will go to Herbie Farah or any man in that situation. Oh, and now Herbie Farah. That vegan sniper is mocking, is mocking Dominic Fisher. Dominic Fisher trying to mock him right back. Dominic Fisher has really come into his own. Homegrown talent that has really grown up here, right before our very eyes, just like Herbie Vara. And it makes me proud to be able to watch these guys here four years later and see what they have become. See how the crowd is into it every time they step in how everybody's emotionally invested because everything they do matters. People know these guys. Like I said, they've grown up right before our very eyes. And now, what are they doing? They're hurting each other. And now, Herbie Farr bringing the violence. Herbie Farr always bringing the violence. He's got violent intent with his submissions, with his strikes, with everything he does. And always signs of good sportsmanship anytime Dominic Fisher is in that ring. That's what he's known for now, going under. That hammer lock now, that hammer lock, lock sits in tightly. Elbow now from Herbie Farr. Herbie Farr always finds a way to get out of a tough situation. That's where his size really works for him. Slitters round like an eel, and now. Surfer Boy. One thing that Surfer Boy, he is known for, for showboating a bit. He loves to entertain the crowd. The problem is, you cannot take your eyes off of Herbie Farah. Every time you think you've, got, you've gotten rid of him, he bounces right back up, and he clamps on one of those submissions. And we've got 17 minutes and 5, 14 seconds and counting on the clock.
as the crowd is counting down every three minutes a new wrestler is stepping out let's see who is that who is, that is going to be right oh my god Kirby Foss, tag team partner er is the Koloss of Leipzig Chris Titan it's the Colossus it's the Colossus and now Dominic Fischer needs to go at it with this guy. He needs to get him out of the way because otherwise it's two on one and here we go already. Coming from both sides. This is what these guys specialize, specialize in. This is what King Clute has taught them. This is what Red Cat has taught them. Strength in numbers. And together, Chris Titan, Kirby Farah, as a union, as a, as a union, stand stronger than individuals. It's just some of the parts. And now we're getting ready for a tag team maneuver that we've seen plenty of times by these two men. And the Colossus looks bigger than ever. Go for the wait, 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 wait. And this is what this is the danger with these alliances and matches where it's every man, where it's meant to be every man for himself. And now both men agreeing. I mean, we know they're friends, but both of them are very competitive. And now Herbie Farah. What? No, 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 no. Titan just breaks it up again. Come on. Do we have dissension among the ranks of catharsis? Or will these boys be able to see eye to eye again? Come on, guys. You're best friends. Hakuna Matata all the way. Timo and Puma. We're having a discussion right now. This gives Dominic Fisher an awful long time to recover. Dominic Fisher trying to get his bearings straight now. Being allowed a long time. And now Herbie Farah continues picking up right where he left off as the clock is counting down. Once again, who will it be? We're going to find out in one second. And here we go! That's Herbie Farah's little brother! Der vierte Teilnehmer ist der neueste Absolvent der Alimit Wrestling Herbie School! Little brother. Bitte begrüßt Leonova! Leonova! What side is he going to take? This is interesting. I want to see how this plays out. Oh! Talking about a sibling rivalry! He kicked Herbie Farah's own brother down! And then a man who's like a big brother to him as well, Chris Titan, he went for him. Could be the biggest mistake he made all day. But now, Leonova is getting the opportunity to showcase his skills as well as win the title. Imagine that on his first attempt, winning a title here at Unlimited Wrestling. The biggest Europe, the biggest German wrestling promotion. What a debut that would be. Oh, and there's his big bro. Who's just pounding him. Oh, my God. And I've got a feeling that when, as these guys were growing up together, I think this was a, a scene that was broken apart by their parents more often than not. That's what brothers do. Brothers fight. That's how you get hardened. That's how they prepare for the ring. They used to beat the crap out of each other. I asked her before, who was the first person you ever stretched? Who was the first person you ever made, made had a, got a submission on who you made tap? He said, my brother, of course. Oh, and there's Dominic Fisher back. And now, 
Dominic, Christy Tan in one corner. Herbie Farah, Leonova in the other, battling it out here. And now, see a sign of respect between Nova and Dominic Fisher. Winding it up. Oh! Both men colliding. Herbie Farr, of course, got the worst of that as both men, Dominic Fisher and Nova, double drop kicking the big man out of the way. Oh my God, they're really putting the boots to Herbie Farra. And now Nova, side of good show sportsmanship. Very nicely done. Yeah, let's agree to beat the crap out of each other. It's a nice gentleman's agreement. Are they going to go at it? Or are they going to wait for three seconds more? As lightning crashes. Aitash. The fifth teilnehmer. Aitash. Er ist der Adana Bulldozer. Ladies and gentlemen, Aitash Bahar. Aitash Bahar. He is here to kick ass and get paid. Now this is the guy with the right idea. He is not here to make friends. He let us all know that. He is here to earn a buck. He is a prize fighter. He came here to make some money as he runs through a drawable clothesline attack and bulldozers over both of his opponents now. Chris Titan is in. Herbie Farah, we saw an interesting exchange between these three gentlemen a couple of shows back. Oh, and Red Cat Special Enforcer now just dumped Big Christy Todd to the outside and is now taking it to that sniper, Herbie Farah, who seems to be busted open. And Herbie Farah now kicking with all his might. Herbie Farah just tasted his own blood and he's just going crazy. But doesn't do anything. Eye touch. Eye touch. Now going for the cover. Will he be the first? Oh, what an opportunity this would be for him. This is the path he has chosen. He is not here to make friends, ladies and gentlemen. He is here to make money. That is supposed to be the life of a professional wrestler. A very interesting confrontation here between Chris Titan and Aitash. Aitash. And now putting on the brakes is Chris Titan trying to go for a suplex. Aitash fighting back. Chris Titan now draping Aitash over that top rope. Herbie Farah now from the second, and we have seen this before. And when, once they hit this, it's devastation, coast to coast, double stereo from the second rope. If it doesn't break your neck, it will bust your eardrums and break your jaw. And now a cross body of both men from Nova ascending from the air from the heavens. Coming down from the heavens as we count down from five, four, three, two, one. Who will it be? We know that sound. It's Madlifon! Oh, and now attacking Nova from the back. Oh, he's got the pin. He's got the pin. He's got the pin. He's got the pin. And he's got, he's got a little over seven minutes to keep this. To keep his winning position alive. He's got a little over seven minutes now. And the problem is right now, people do not even need, and I'm saying people because there's multiple people in there, they do not even need to take out Madlevon. They can pin each other. 
it doesn't matter. This is a scramble match, and oh, Nemo likes to show how tough he is. Well, you've come to the right place. Aitash wants to duke it out with everybody. There is no stopping Aitash. Now, whip it in. Nima now. Oh, spine buster. Shades of Arn Anderson. Now ranching the eyes. And an eye gouge, since there is no disqualification in this match, ladies and gentlemen, is as ba about as legal as a headlock. Oh, sit out, dead belly driver. Is this it? Yes. I touch is a top man. I touch. I touch. Mr. Baklava himself. Oh, nice scissor kick. Nima wants his win back. Madlev on now. Being dragged off by the big man, who's just scooping him up. Titan falls! Now he needs to go for the cover. No one gets up after the Titan falls. Wait a minute, what happened? I just saw the referee disappear. Herbie Farah is standing here right in front of me. Dragged out the referee. Again, no disqualification. Very little the referee can do to enforce the rules here because it's all legal. Nova wasting no time to take out his brother once again. Titan falls one more time. Madlevan skipping, skipping around the ring. He's got good footwork. Oh, and Madlevan is being about, yeah, they're ganging up on him. Get that crazy rabbit dog out of there. That's what they're thinking as I touch now. Going for Herbie Farah. Herbie Farah, his nose is busted up. He's got a broken nose. But as a, as a testament to how tough he is, he is fighting like a pit bulldog. Surfer boy is sending to the heavens. Surf's up! Surf, boy, drop as he hangs 10. Dominic Fisher standing tall now. He needs to seize the opportunity. We've got three minutes, 25 seconds to go as the clock is counting down. Christy Tan, Aitash colliding like two bulls in the arena. Something's gotta give. And now, Aitash coming up the road. Big Lariat taking down the big man. And you saw that. Christy Tom tried to get up, but immediately dropped down again. He doesn't know where he is. And Nima now, Madlevan. Going old school now, as it appears. Oh my God! Oh, that was a nasty drop. He took down Christy Todd in the process, but Man, did he ever hit the floor! Madlifon 
Just going on pure madness and adrenaline right now. That's what's keeping him up. One, two, and three, yes! He took Itosh out. What does that tell you about, about Madlevon? And we are still awaiting the arrival of Crochester, the leader of Grupo Ismena, as we just saw that surfer boy rode a big time wave in the form of Madlevon, and now Herbie Vara, always there, at the exact right time, taking out his opponent. Leonova now, Leonova now. What if he could get a pinfall? We speculated about this earlier. Well, at least I did. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rico Bushido, the voice of champions. We are checking out Ocean Bash here at Unlimited Wrestling in Bremerhaven. Thank you very much for joining us. Whether you're watching this through the live stream or you're checking us out on YouTube, we greatly appreciate you tuning in for this great German wrestling, European wrestling at its very, very best. Today, we are we are here to commemorate the memory of the great, late, bad bones, John Klinger. And as I said earlier during this broadcast, he would have been proud of all of these guys and the action that's, being, that's on display in this ring right now. All of these kids learned so much from bad bones. Two and three. Dominic Fisher now with 24 seconds on the clock, 23, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and Surfer Boy keeping everybody at bay, counting down, count down with me, yes, it's Dominic Fisher. What a victory, Dominic Fisher, after spending years in his organization. He finally, finally uh, got his opportunity to win some big time gold in the Unlimited Wrestling Challenge Championship. Congratulations, kid. Now it's up to you. Now it's up to you to defend that title against all comers. You might not even know who they are at times, but you have to be ready at all times. Congratulations, kid. No doubt, John Klinger is smiling down at you right now. Womit könnte die zweite Hälfte von Ocean Bash besser beginnen mit einer Ankündigung für Restival? Richtig, sie könnte gar nicht anders besser beginnen als mit einer Ankündigung für Restival. Deswegen, ihr Lieben, kommt hier die aktuelle Ankündigung für Restival. is coming to rest of all on the 19th of October and of course on the 20th of October it's going to be rest of all time once again by Ring of Honor und Game Changer Wrestling ja in den gesamten United States of America hat er sich bereits einen großen Namen gemacht jetzt kommt er nach Deutschland um sich auch hier einen großen Namen zu machen und wohin kommt man in Deutschland natürlich wenn man sich einen großen Namen machen möchte hm zu Unlimited Wrestling. Genau, deswegen steht er für euch bei Restival im Ring. Blake! 
Christian. That's a great announcement. New talent coming to Restful all the way from the US. Das nun folgende Match ist ein Singles Match und es ist angelegt auf einen Fall. Und es geht um die Unlimited Wrestling Championship. Kurz zur Erinnerung, der Champion Crochester hat eine Open Challenge ausgesprochen und gleich hier im Ring wird er also erfahren, wer sein Gegner ist. Aber hier kommt zuerst der amtierende Champion. And this is the moment that we've been waiting for. Crochester issuing an open challenge, putting his title on the line and let's see what the deranged what the deranged co-leader is going to come up with today. There's Mad Levan, the Demon Jokai, the Oni Demon, and the Mad One. We've seen their both of their handiwork today, both of their handiworks. It was a pretty, but it was very, very effective and very, very violent. Unfortunately, Madlevan did not get his hands on the goal today. He was, even though he was close. But where is Crochester? Why is he sending his lackeys out here? Where is he? Maybe the mask, maybe the mask can tell us. All right, wait a minute, hey. Madlefon just yanked that the microphone out of Bjorn's hand. What is going on here? Where is Crochester? Is the He's doing his job? Yeah, but like the Abend Crochester is here. Yeah, but that's seeing that he's a title defending, you know? Crochester is here. Hoy Abend nicht for old. Und nochmal sage ich das. Crochester ist heute Abend nicht hier. What? He needs to defend his title. We've got warum? contracts in place. Ist das perfekt nochmal fair, dass er als Unlimited Wrestling Champion nicht im Main Event steht? Yeah. Wait a minute. He doesn't get to decide. Ihr, jeder Einzelne von euch, ihr habt nicht Crochester verdient. Ihr habt das Titelmatch nicht verdient. Ist Männer ist out. Wait a minute! Madlevan just said that Crochester is not showing up because he did not, he couldn't wrestle for his title in the main event, defend his title in the main event, so he just decided not to show up. Crochester is not here right now. Wait, what? This is, this is all taking a very unexpected turn, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? Grupa Ismena is just leaving the arena right now. They're leaving the venue. And everybody's just as confused as I am right now. Um. Bjorn does not know what to say. What, what is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Wait a minute. Do we have another? That, that's Victor again. That's Victor again. Maybe he can get Fabs on the line again or General Manager. Ich habe gerade einen Anruf bekommen von General Manager Fabius Titus. Yes, so he does. Und uh, Fabius Titus bittet darum, dass ich sein Wortlaut exakt wiedergebe. Er entschuldigt sich bei euch hier in Bremerhaven für unseren Unlimited Wrestling Champion. Man kann sich leider seine Champions nicht aussuchen. Allerdings können sich auch unsere Champions nicht aussuchen, wann und wo sie ihre Titel verteidigen. Crochester hat eine Open Challenge ausgesprochen. Wenn Crochester nicht hier ist, um seinen Titel zu verteidigen, dann wird es heute einen neuen Champion geben. Denn es haben, denn es haben so sich viele Wrestler auf die Open Challenge beworben. Und Fabs hat jetzt gerade beschlossen, dass heute Abend zwei von denen zum Zug kommen und den Titel unter sich ausmachen werden, und zwar, äh, jetzt. General Manager Fabs, Fabius Titus, has just ruled that 
the title will be on the line okay. and there will be a new champion crown right here tonight at Ocean Bash. So that's something. At least that is something. But whom are Dann, uh, whom are the characters jetzt die beiden fighting for? Die um who werden? will the, um, the people be? Kämpfer Nummer 1 ist jetzt auf dem Weg zum Ring. Well, I certainly know who this is! Look who just stepped up! Right place, right time! Right wrestler! Marius Alani! Nobody moves like Marius Alani! He is a warrior! He is a gladiator! He is a ninja! Look at this guy move. Mario Zalani has just stepped up big time. And here comes sein Gegner. Oh, sound the horns. It is time to purge. It's Pete Bouncer! Pete Bouncer! Out of all these unexpected things that could happen, we have ended up with a title match for the Unlimited Wrestling Heavyweight Championship of the World between Mario Zolani and the Purge Club Zone, Pete Bouncer. Oh yes! There will be violence! And oh yes, there will be a new champion crowd! Pete Bowser, rising to the occasion! People are giving the man his flowers already. But there is a, first he needs to concentrate on the task at hand. This handsome psychopath will take on a gladiator, the likes of which Europe has never seen before in the form of Mario Salani. Look at the physique on Bouncer. Look at the physique on Mario Zalani. This truly is a heavyweight clash. Liebes Unlimited Wrestling Publikum, ich möchte euch die beiden Kämpfer in der Unlimited Wrestling Championship einmal vorstellen. Zu meiner Linken, mit einem Kampfgewicht von 90 Kilogramm, ist ein ehemaliger Westdeutscher Meister im Ringkampf aus Erfurt. Für euch heute Abend im Unlimited Wrestling Ring, Marius Al-Ani! Look at that back piece tattoo. That's a testament to how tough this guy is. Imagine having to sit down through that. Is the eine Hälfte des gefürchteten Perch Club. Er ist bereits zweifacher Unlimited Wrestling Tag Team Champion und er ist der amtierende Champion von Odeo Pro Wrestling mit einem Kampfgewicht von 95 Kilogramm. Pete Bouncer. This guy is just oozing confidence right now. Staring a hole right through Mario Zalani. What a confrontation. So unexpected. Of course, it's a bummer that Crochester could not be here today or chose not to be here today. How arrogant anyway, right? But now we, we're, we're getting treated to a clash by these two veterans of the man. These two warriors will go one-on-one -on -one 
for the most prestigious prize in German wrestling right now. The Unlimited Wrestling Heavyweight Title. And there's the belt, and here we go. Mario Zalani challenging his opponent to step, to come step to him in the middle of the ring. And now both bulls collide. Both men lock up. Mario Zalani always good with his feet, always good with footwork positioning. Knows how to hit the right angle. Pete Bouncer, perhaps the stronger man, but does he have the better position in his lockup? I'm not so sure about that. Mario Zalani has a lower center of gravity. And you can cut the tension with a knife. And both men are feeling it too. I have goosebumps right now, ladies and gentlemen. And both men once again go for a lock, but go behind now. Mario Zalani could be looking for a takedown. Earlier on, and now going for the wrist, going for the hammer lock. Pete Bouncer transitioning into a headlock. Mario Zalani trying to get his grip around the leg of Pete Bouncer. And now ankle lock, ankle lock. Oh, good call, good maneuver. Good escape by Pete Bouncer. Shows you the experience by Pete Bouncer. He will not let his ego do the talking. He is an effective wrestler. Help Ben on destruction. But he knows when to head for the hills and run for cover. They're locking up again right in the Brad basket. Goes Pete Bouncer. Pete Bouncer now. Laying it in right now. And off the ropes. Mario Zalani stepping under. Look at this. Look at this unbelievable motion here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are struggling with motion sickness, it's best not to watch this match because nobody moves around quite like Mario Zalani. Going low now. Pete Bouncer. Mario stepping under. Chop. Who will it be? Who will be champion as to, after the dust has settled in this match? Oh! Mari's ran right into that knee there. He bounced right on the money. Right on the money. And he's getting cheers from the crowd. Pete Bouncer, very methodic. Very methodical, taking his time. Mario Zalani likes that higher play pace. He has got that extra gear. Pete Bouncer is going to have to slow this match down, and he needs to get Mario Zalani wrestling at his pace, not the other way around. Now Bouncer, again, going low, targeting, targeting the abdomen and rib area. Amari Zalani, who hits the turnbuckles hard, sidewalk slam. Is that it? No. No, 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 no. He came close. He came very close in that exchange. Bouncer now wearing down, clamping the jaw. Very nicely done by Pete Bouncer going for the cover now. No, Mario Zalani, great ring awareness. He didn't just kick out, he rolled towards the ropes. Mario Zalani slapping the back of his head and neck. He's trying to get the blood flowing again. Again, rising to the occasion. Pete Bouncer. Knife has chop. Oh! 
slapped across the jaw by Mario Zolani now, and Pete Bowser whipping in Mario Zolani, who's just stepping over, turning inside out, running at Bouncer again, and now dragging him in, taking him down with that lariat. Wow. It's constant fluidity, constant motion by Mario Zolani. This guy has got the best footwork in the business. This guy trains in BJJ. This guy trains in kickboxing. He can both grapple as well as strike. This guy can do it all. He can come from the top rope or he can fight you like a man one-on-one -on -one in that center of the ring. Putting on the brakes now, every time Pete Bouncer's trying to punch. I do not think, I do not believe that Pete Bouncer needs to get into a striking exchange with Mario Zolani, who now very swiftly applies a head scissor. And Alani now. Butterfly suplex, floating over like a bee. Sorry. Flow like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> Mario said, No, 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 no. Mario is signaling that he wants to go up top, perhaps hesitating a bit. Shouldn't allow Pete Bouncer too much time to recover in this one. Now Pete Bouncer with the sleeper hole, perhaps clapping that on out of desperation. Does he have all of it? No, I do not believe so. Mario Solani fighting out of that position and again attacking Pete Bouncer who got his leg up. Ladies and gentlemen, the violence is going back and forth. It's very hard to give you a winner right now. It's very hard to give you a prediction, but perhaps this could be it. He's got him in the middle of the ring. There is nowhere to go for Pete Bouncer. Just clap it on. Bite down on your gums and clap it on. Hold on with all your might, Mario Zolani. What an opportunity. And now, Pete Bouncer using his strength, but perhaps it was his last reserve. And oh, now Pete Bouncer, great, great veteran, great veteran instincts. Warriors now flowing over into a pinning combination right from that sleeper. Again, spinning elbow, shades of John Bones Jones. Perhaps the greatest fighter of all time and look at that Saito suplex. Oh, Bouncer is up! Bouncer walks through that lariat and retaliating with a lariat of his own. Pete Bouncer now, standing up. Pete Bouncer now, suplex attempt on Marius from the ropes. Marius just, oh, Marius, small package, wrapping him up nicely. Bouncer up, using that back, those back muscles and spinning him around right on the back of his neck. This could be it, this could be it. Get him away from the ropes, one. Two, is that it? Oh my God. Bouncer. I love his trash polka tattoo. But he didn't get here, come here for a knee, for any needling and any ink. He came here for that title. That most, the most prestigious title we have in German wrestling today. The unlimited wrestling heavyweight championship 
of the world. And now, once again, look at look at Marius holding on to those legs. Marius now just pushing away. Pete Bouncer, I told you guys before, earlier in this match, that Marius has that low center of gravity, which he's utilizing perfectly. This guy knows who he is. This guy knows what he can do. Code Red. Oh, kick out by Marius Alani. And now, Pete Bouncer, so close, so close. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no margin of error in this match because as soon as one guy makes the mistake, the other guy is going to capitalize on that. The other guy is going to make sure that he is on his opponent. That's the mentality that both of these men share. Both of these, these, these two great warriors, these two fantastic athletes. I could see it still going either way. He bounced her now, staring down. Marius Alani now. He's got him in position for a power ball. Marius Alani now hanging on to that neck. Just grab that neck. He grabbed him with that Muay Thai clutch around his, around his neck. Oh, went for that Superman forearm. Mari is now doing everything to fight out of that sleeper hole. And again, oh, and now he just got slammed up on the back of his head once again by Pete Bouncer. Is that it? No, Pete Bouncer now, in this stage of the match, is relying heavily on wear down maneuvers, submissions, and power moves. He just wants to break Mario Zalani. He wants not only to break his body, but he wants to break his spirit. But Mario Zalani has got great warrior strength, great warrior spirit, fighting spirit. This guy will always keep on going. As long as Mario Zalani draws breath, as long as he can keep on continuing, as, he, as long as he can move around, this guy will keep on kicking out and trying to escape out of those submission maneuvers as he once again displays. And now, great power by Mario Zalani, who's just, who's just powering up Pete Bouncer from that submission maneuver. Look at the strength, and look at that move! Oh my God! And there it is, right on the jaw. One, two, and three. We've got a new champion. We've got a new champion, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a new champion. Unlimited wrestling champion. Marius Alani. We have got a new champion. And this great warrior's name is Marius Al Ani. Wait a minute. Pete Bouncer now dragging the title away from Kevin Erickson, the referee. Is he a sore loser or what? Both men now. Coming face to face once again. As Bowser bows his head and hands the title to our new champion. Ladies and gentlemen, these two men right here today have written history. Take nothing away from Pete Bowser Get being gallant in defeat. John would be proud of you, Pete. I really mean that, brother. And this man, ascending the throne. 
Unlimited Universum. Seid ihr bereit für das nächste Match? Dann starten wir auch jetzt mit dem nächsten Match. Und das ist ein Four-Way-Match, angelegt auf einen Four. Und die Gewinnerin dieses Matches wird bei Firewall am 31.08.2024 gegen Mila Michelle Smith antreten, um in Berlin den ersten Unlimited Wrestling Women's Champion zu bestimmen. Die erste Kämpferin ist jetzt auf dem Weg zum Ring. And this is an interesting matchup, ladies and gentlemen. A ladies four-way match. And the winner of this match will become the number one contender to challenge Mila Schmidt. And we're starting off with the queen. The Viking queen, the brutal Alexa Valo. International superstar, one of the most dominant women that we ever saw on the European continent. She has men eating out of the palm of her hand. She's got women wishing they were like her. The Viking Queen that thinks she is the Queen the of Sisu. Sie kommt direkt aus Finnland, Bremerhaven. Bitte begrüßt im Apollo, Lexa Valo! And Mommy has come to do battle. Now look, she's got an assistant straight away. She's controlling every man in the crowd with a snap of her finger. And look at the, the intensity in her eyes. Hier kommt die zweite Kämpferin. It's time to get out the weights and get your pump on. With Diana Strong. All the way from Poland. The power lifter. This is the first time, I believe, that I've seen her on one of the main Aus shows. Krakow, I believe the last time Poland. we saw her was against Klee. Ladies and gentlemen, that was at an underground show. Strong. And I remember Diana Strong, even though small of posture, being incredibly powerful and slapping the taste out of Klee's mouth. That was a great. Image to revisit. Liebes Apollo Publikum, bitte begrüßt die dritte Kämpferin. Another superstar. And European wrestling can be proud of these ladies. Baby Allison. The witch bitch of professional wrestling has just entered the venue at Unlimited Wrestling. This is her debut. And if you didn't know, well, you're going to find out tonight just what it is that the witch bitch of wrestling is capable of. She is the witch bitch of pro wrestling aus 069 FFM. Baby Allison! And there is some talent in the ring right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special Herren, evening here at Ocean Bash. Meine Damen und einen kleinen Ausfall. Sapphire Reed kann heute Abend nicht bei uns sein. Sie ist verletzt. That's true, aber, we've got an injury. Aber, we've got, Moment, aber. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Lex is taking her shine now. Wenn wir nicht für einen sehr passablen Ersatz gesorgt hätten. Bremerhaven. Hier direkt für euch aus Salzburg in Österreich. Und jetzt auf dem Weg in den Unlimited Wrestling Ring. Der Candlestick. Oh, they found Jesse a replacement! J. Jesse J to Candlestick! Candlestick Pimple! Lexa Valo was already trying... She already was celebrating the fact that there was one less female wrestler in this match. But look who's stepping out right now. It's Jesse J, the Candlestick Pimple. And she is in the shape of her life. Behold, there she is, the ultimate killer. Always. 
face being flanked by her best friend, that kendo stick she named Falco from Austria. All the way from Austria to beat a couple of ladies up. It doesn't matter who she needs to beat up. Jesse J is a killer. Jesse J is violent. Jesse J is strong. This is going to be a very interesting confrontation as Lex Avalo is already protesting the company's decision to add Jesse J to this match. I know we call her the queen, but she's a... Definitely think she's the queen of the ring. That's the way she behaves. Well, let's see who the real queen is right now as all four of these female athletes get ready to do battle here, right in the mid center of the ring. And now Lexa smacking everybody, elbowing Deanna Strong. Whoa, I don't know if that's bad or pleasant, but Deanna got it. Oh, and now. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby Allison, Deanna Strong, and Jesse J put the brakes on. <laughs> all three of them consecutively kick Lexa Valo in the face, and now they're ganging up on the biggest lady of this match. She said, I'll be right there. No, 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 no. You're not going anywhere, honey. Not until these ladies are through with you. <laughs> oh, look at the out of strong go. And now Jesse J. This is three against one right now. Well, she might be a drama queen, but she's a real threat. And they just got perhaps the biggest threat out of there and now. All three, la three ladies very much concentrating, very much keeping their eye on the prize. And now, Jesse J asserting her dominance. Jesse J, so powerful, so explosive. She's got that judo background, a former Austrian judo champion. Actually participated for a long time in the kendo tournaments. That's where she found Falco. That's what inspired her to bring that weapon she she loves to use bring that weapon to the ring oh lutez press now by the witch bitch and there she goes pounding down baby allison now retreating to the corner jesse j now trying to overpower overpower baby allison but baby allison is as agile as an acrobat she's like a she's like a contortionist that's how agile she is. she gets to literally fold herself in half and just jump right back up and now lexa getting rid of jesse j by sneak attacking her and now lexa back in the ring coming i oh this is interesting and here they go oh, oh look at this is what I mean. Look at this. Look at baby Allison. Look at the agility. And wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, I. Whoa, oh my God. Well, I can see the attraction there, but. The hell with the violence. I want to see more of that. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse me. I just got carried away. And now. Baby Allison charging. Lexa scooping her up. Slam dunk on the back of her head. Deanna Strong right there. Deanna Strong now. Oh, this is an interesting confrontation. Let's see who the stronger is of these two. Deanna now. She might be small in stature, but she makes up for it with a lot of power. But there's the experience. Lexa Valo, the heavier, ex more experienced wrestler just trying to kick the head, trying to push the head of Diana Strong right through those metal-plated turnbuckle pads. And Lex Havalo is enjoying herself right now. Lex Havalo is just smack-talking all the way through this match. She really thinks that she is the queen. She really thinks she is the queen of the Vikings. I, let me tell you. Look at the arrogance. And now Deanna Strong fighting for her life, fighting to get that psychotic Viking queen off of her. And oh, oh my God. It's just, that's just, that derriere is like getting hit with a truck. 
The crowd now trying to get behind Deanna Strong. Who's now fighting back. And now Deanna flipping over Lexa, trying to get her into, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, look at this. Lexa now, calf crusher. Calf crusher. She's got it in. Deanna's about to ta tap, but there is the witch. Baby Allison now, dragging Lex up by the hair. Alexa now going low, kicking her in the bread basket. And oh, ho, ho, snapping her neck backwards. Baby Allison needs to pay for what she just did <laughs> by orders of the queen. And where's Jesse J? Where's Jesse J? And, oh, Deanna. Oh, Alexa. Oh, these women are violent. Oh, wait a minute. That's Jesse J. Beautiful drop kick there by Baby Allison. Jesse J now. Oh, with a mess up drop kick to Lex Avalo. And now, wait a minute. There are two, ca two people being covered. The referee doesn't even know who he's counting anymore. I understand the confusion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ocean Batch. We are watching Unlimited Wrestling, and this is a four-way matchup to determine the number one contendership of the women's title, the to-be-determined women's title. We're going to see who Mila Schmidt is going to face. Who will it be? Will it be the ultra-strong Diana Strong? Oh, what a Samoan drop. Will it be the flexible and dangerous baby Allison? Or will it be the violent Jesse J? Or the deranged but almost irresistible Viking queen, Lexa Valo? It could go any way. It could go four ways. Deanna Strong now loves man, I wanted to say manhandle, woman handling her larger opponents. And now both baby Allison as well as Lexa Valo are being targeted in the corner by elbows. And now, once again, fireman's position. Lex Avalo, steamroller by Deanna Strong. And now forearm to the jaw of baby Allison. And it looks like Deanna is going to take the witch bits for a ride. No, 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 no. Baby Allison, the experience is showing as she's putting on the brake. But look who's coming to help out. The kendo stick pit bull, Jesse J. Deanna Strong still putting on the break. Now we know. Now we know who the strongest woman in this match is. It's little Diana. Oh. Covering the both. Oh, what a victory that would have been. Oh, what a fashion. Alexa now taunting Deanna Strong. Guillotine from the top rope. Alexa very crafty. And now Jesse J slamming two women on top of each other. And then Alexa was right there. Oh, no, no, it was not, was not her. It was somebody from the crowd. Yeah, right. As if Jesse J does not know what the hell Alexa Valo is up to. These two women know each other very, very well. And now the crowd is turning on Lexa, calling her Feigling, which is German for coward. Rico Bushido, for all your translations, I will be here all night long, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Oh, the impact. Oh, and another one. And I'm, I'm pretty sure her chest will be beat red after that. And Lexa on the outside. Oh, and look at this! Oh my God! It's look, look, it looks like something out of a horror movie. The way, oh, baby Allison just rose up. That was terrifying. And now, baby Allison to the top rope. What a, what an awkward positioning. She has those unorthodox movements as she, oh my God! Superplex from the second row, but she's hanging on. Look at this, like a bat, like a vampire. Oh, cannonball by the kendo stick pit bull. Oh, spear 
out of nowhere by the Queen. And now, one, two, oh! Yada Strong kicked out. Jesse J kicked out. Lexa now crawling over to baby Allison. Who kicked out as well? Splits last second, last second. And Lexa cannot believe it. Look at the expression. Look at the expression of her face. And Lexa now doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know where to go. She doesn't know who to cover. Lexa, Lexa now, wait a minute. Is she having a sip from somebody in the crowd? Oh my God, look at her go, where is she going? Where is she going? Wait a minute, she needs, she, she's asking, She's asking for the kendo stick? Wait, wait a minute, wait. Lexa is here at her announce booth while Jesse J and Deanna Strong are slugging it out. I would love to see who's the most powerful when it comes to strikes between these two. What a confrontation here. But Lexa now with Falco, that kendo stick on the outside. That's Jesse J's kendo stick. And now Jesse J, Liger Bomb and Deanna Strong. Oh my God. And now, oh my God, Lexa just, just, just struck Jesse J with a kendo stick. And she's blaming baby Allison. Baby Allison had nothing to do with it, but. Oh my God, look at this. You do not want to push up, piss off Jesse J and Jesse J now. She wants to, she wants to rip baby Allison's head off. Jesse J is incensed. Jesse J. Oh, look at the rage. And now, in the middle of the ring, the auto strong is down. Oh, that's it. Lexa Valo steals it. The winner and damit the Gegnerin von Mila Michelle Smeet am 31.08.2024 in Berlin. The Queen of Sisu, Lexa Valo. Lexa Valo stole it, and this entire crowd is turning on her. Oh my God! Well, she showed the world. She showed the world. Using your head. Using your head is the best thing to do when you're in that ring, especially against three dangerous competitors. And now she will go one on one with Mila Schmidt once again. The queen of Sisu is standing victorious here at Ocean Bash in Bremerhaven. Genau das. Wir kommen jetzt nämlich zum Main Event des heutigen Abends und wir alle wissen, dass es an dieser Stelle eigentlich One More Match hätte heißen sollen. One more match für alle Menschen, die das nicht mehr wissen. John Klinger hat eigentlich seinen Rücktritt verkündet. Da gab es aber noch dieses eine Versprechen, das er Martin Guerrero gegeben hat. Und Martin wollte John so nicht ziehen lassen. John als Ehrenmann hat das natürlich zugesagt. Und deswegen hätte es heute eben One more match geben sollen. Nun wäre es das Einfachste gewesen, dieses Match ganz einfach von der Karte zu streichen und zu sagen, ja, shit happens, schade, Ende. Aber... Und wir haben uns das echt nicht leicht gemacht. Wir waren, also nicht ich, sondern die entscheidende Mannschaft, die waren sich sicher, das hätte John nicht gewollt. Und vielmehr noch, ein einziger Mensch war sich sehr sicher, dass das John nicht gewollt hätte. Und so wird heute Johns Blutsbruder Erkan Sulzani John Klinger vertreten. Meine Damen und Herren, liebes Unlimited Wrestling Publikum, bitte begrüßt mit dem lautesten Lärm, der sich das Wrestling Welt überhaupt vorstellen kann, die beiden Kämpfer des Main Fights des heutigen Abends hier bei Unlimited Wrestling Ocean Dash 2024. Und der erste Kämpfer ist jetzt auf dem Weg zum Ring. Well, this is going to be a tough one, ladies and gentlemen for the participants in this match and for everybody looking on for myself on commentary this one hits very close to home 
with Martin Guerrero now, the founder of this company, is stepping out. Stadt mit einem Kampfgewicht von 85 Kilogramm. Bremerhaven macht Lärm für Martin Guerrero. Martin Guerrero. He knows the responsibility that rests on his shoulders. He was about to have the one more match. Main event here with John Klinger. Here in Brave Harvard, so close to John Klinger's home. But unfortunately, it was not to be. As earlier this week, we received devastating news of the passing of the great John Klinger. But now, we're all assembled here for the memory of John Klinger. We have all gathered here to pay tribute to this great man. And I know, I feel in my heart that he is with us today, that he is looking on as we are putting on this show in his name. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching this live, once again, thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart, it means a lot to me, really. It means a lot to Martin, and no doubt, it means a lot to his opponent. Bremerhaven, ich hoffe, ihr habt noch ein bisschen, Lärm, ein bisschen Luft in den Lungen, denn, denn er wird es brauchen. Hier kommt sein Gegner. Stablemate, tag team partner, and best friend. Lutz Bluda wasn't just a slogan, it was real. It was a way of life. And in this business worldwide, there are not many of us professional wrestlers. And those who are active in this business consider each other family. More than family because we see each other more often than many people through their own families. John played a significant part in all of our lives, but perhaps he was as a person to nobody as important as to this man. It's on him now to lead the way. Meine Damen und Herren, direkt aus Berlin und mit einem Kampfgewicht von nicht weniger als 102 Kilogramm stellt er sich dem heutigen Mainfight 
Er ist der Highflyer Killer, The Golden Boy, Mr. Uppercut und er ist natürlich der Blutsbruder. Meine Damen und Herren, er ist Erkan Sul Sani. Erkan Sul Sani. Give me that last bang up to the sky. Perhaps the most difficult moment in his life as he represents for his best friend, the late great Bad Bones, John Klinger. Make no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, for tonight, Bremer Haven and everywhere in Germany right now is Bad Bones City. John. This is for you, buddy. This is for you. founder of the Blutsbrüder. These guys have been through it all together. Hours on the road, sharing hotel rooms, sharing meals. Laughing together, crying together, bleeding together. It's very hard for them for anybody from the outside to understand the life of a professional wrestler. But these guys have seen it all. And they've seen it all together. One more time, guys. One more time for John. Crowd now, rallying firmly behind Erkan Sultani. Martin Guerrero staring up at the six foot seven frame of Mar of Erkan Sultani, one of the tallest wrestlers on the European independent scene. Mr. European Uppercut. This is about so much more than professional wrestling. Look at this. We're in this together, guys. We're in this together. A 
And here we go. This crowd all night long has been tremendous. Now, Akon Sultani backing up. Martin Guerrero using that power and size advantage. Bad Bones crowds, a chance, filled the air. Martin Guerrero now. Try to fight for position. Martin Guerrero now. Perhaps you do not want to engage in a test of strength against somebody that much taller, but Martin Guerrero saw to it that they were the same size if it was only just briefly. Now, headlock being applied by Erkan Sultani. Got that clamped on. Now, coming up the ropes. Oh, and Martin Guerrero was just run over by that six foot seven frame of Mr. European Uppercut. And now, Erkan Sultani putting on the brake on that hip toss. Martin Guerrero stepping through on that hip toss, and oh, hard clothesline. Hard clothesline again, and that one connected. Oh, and there's a jumping European uppercut. Erkan Sultani standing tall here at Bremenhaven. Erkan now stepping over. Flaring that gun up. Beautiful knee drop. Akon Sultani trying to remain focused. There would be no greater honor for him towards his best friend than to take home the victory tonight. But as we know, Martin Guerrero who's been gaining more and more experience throughout the years, can pull a, hat, a rabbit out of, out of his hat any second. Can turn around a match just like that. But now the blood rushing through the head of Monte Guerrero. Beautiful vertical standing suplex. That's what I mean. Martin Guerrero, always very aware of his environment. Always aware of his surroundings. Now, launching himself, torpedoing himself with that drop kick. And now, beautiful head scissor there by Martin Guerrero. And Martin now. His name is being celebrated by the crowd as Mr. European Uppercut ran in to perhaps execute a European Uppercut. Martin Guerrero putting on the brakes now. Coming from the second ropes, perhaps. Oh my God, Meteora from the second rope. One, two, on the chest. He landed on the chest of Erkan Sultani and that chest momentarily got caved in. That will take the, the air out of your lungs. Without air in your lungs, it's very hard to continue the match. So will this be Martin Guerrero's strategy against this much larger man? Will he try to deprive him of air? Will he try to blow him up and then drag him into the deep water? As the longer the match goes, the harder it will be for Akon Sultani with a beautiful pump handle slam now. And now a German suplex as a tribute 
to John Klinger. Oh, and now Martin Guerrero executing a German suplex himself. And like that sign said, nobody can stop the badness. Because made no mistake about it, ladies and gentlemen, his name will live on forever. And now another German suplex. Eka Sultani now winding up another European, sorry, German suplex being executed perfectly by Martin Guerrero. Here come Alice versus Let's Go Martin, dueling chance here now. Beautiful power slam. Now the experience is coming to play for Erkan Sultani. Erkan perhaps looking, praying, trying to scout. How is opponent doing? Is he ready to execute those European uppercuts? And here he comes in, that's it! Martin Guerrero was already on Dream Street there. Martin Guerrero, no! Great resiliency on display by Martin Guerrero now, being followed up by another European uppercut as he follows once again Akon into the corner. Martin now winding up, but there's Akon. Akon now saying he wants to go for another round. And now he knew Martin was coming. Oh my God! Oh, Martin Guerrero once again turning the tide just like that. And as I have said on many, many occasions, John Klinger is a man who would walk right through the fires of hell in order to obtain victory. As an unstoppable force, he moved throughout Europe and the rest of the world as a tank. An unstoppable force. And now, both of these men, both of them, are displaying the same characteristics that made John Klinger one of the greatest European wrestlers we have ever seen. Martin now. Trying to get his bearing straight. Eko Sultani is on the outside. And now, Martin Guerrero running in. Dive in at Erkan. Well, he got some of it. I do not know if he got all of it. Was that enough to take out Mr. European Uppercut? Erkan now. Feeling the effects of that Tope Suicida. And now, Shades of the late great Eddie Guerrero. Martin now. Go for the cover. One, two, no, 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 no. Two is all he got. Two is all he got. Akon Sultani is not prepared to give up. Not now. Not in this match. And now, Martin Guerrero looking for the frog splash. Here he comes. Feeling froggy, hitting it, one, two, no, 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 says Aircon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of Unlimited Wrestling, Ocean Bash in Bremerhaven. This is a special main event unlike, of, unlike any we have ever seen in the history of our company. All the emotion, all the tension. Everyone in this entire arena is feeling it. And now, 
Both men fighting for position. And now look at the expression on Aircon's face as he is lifted up. Marty Guerrero and a beautiful, executing a beautiful power bomb. Oh! These men are giving it their all. And for what? For a noble cause. If there ever was any time to put it all on the line, it is right now. And Kev, the ref, he's got blood on his head. I don't know who that blood belongs to, but he appears to be busted open. What happened? What's going on here? Whose blood is that? And now, oh! What a kick! Right to the temple of Erkan Sultani. Toe. Did you hear that? That might have popped an eardrum. Oh! Oh my God! And now, the violence factor has just come up a couple of notches. As both men are now trading European uppercuts in rapid pace. Both men are trying to knock each other out here. Both men now, chops by Aka Sultani. Another European uppercut. Now Aka running, going for it. Monte Guerrero slides under. Oh, pop kick now. One, two, is that it? No! Sultani! Oh my god! Short long ride, rough landing. Martin Guerrero, who is on spaghetti legs now, himself suffering from the damage that has been taken. The damage has been done to both men during the course of this match. And Martin Guerrero now. Oh, jumped right into that boot. Might have lost a couple of teeth. And now, here we go, hitting the super kick. Akon Sultani hit the super kick. Monte Guerrero staring at the lights, staring at the ceiling. This is it. This is it. Akon. now singling that the end is near scaling the top row all six foot seven inches 
of Erkan Soltani coming up the ropes with the badness elbow drop. Oh yeah! And now, cover. No, 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 no. Monte Guerrero. Look at the expression. His eyes are glazed over. He's still kicked out. Both men are just putting it all on the line. Now Akon standing tall, perhaps taller than he ever did before. Martin Guerrero hanging on to the tights. And now the exclamation point, perhaps. Is this the Bextasy Pile Driver? One, two, three. That's for you, John. Der Gewinner des Main Fights von Unlimited Wrestling Ocean Bash 2024. Er ist der High Flyer Killer. Er ist der Golden Boy. Er ist Mr. Uppercut. Und vor allen Dingen ist er der Blutsbruder. Er kann sehen. Sunny! Respect! That's the only word that is coming to my mind right now. Respect! This man has lost his best friend. The best friend he had in the world earlier this week. We all lost a brother. And now, he is putting this match on for all of us, for John. This is incredible. Both of these men, both of these men deserve their flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rico Bushido. I'm the voice of champions. And for 20 years, I've worked together, wrestled against, did commentary on the matches of the great John Bremerhaven. Er kann so Sunny. One more time. Thank you very much for being with us.
Oh ja, jetzt nur noch nur dort und wir gehen als Champions League. Oh ja, die Champions League Das wird der Wahnsinn. Ich bin oh, so richtig Bock drauf. Ich bin so richtig Bock drauf. Joey? Ich bin so richtig Bock drauf. 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 Ich bin so richtig Bock drauf.